Well, we're on our way to pick up that Japanese knife. The guy finally, we made contact and I'm going to meet him. He lives about 35 or 40 miles away, so we're kind of going to meet in the middle. We're going to meet at one of the spots where we hunt at, by the pier at Ocean View. The Lynn Haven, I mean the Ocean View Fishing Pier. I'm going to ca carry you down here and let you look at the bay for a second. The wind has dropped down a little bit. It's been blowing 30 and 40 all night long. I mean, it's been rough as bricks. I'm hoping that happens, does something to someplace when we can get back out. It's uh, it's uh, going to be in the 20s today. It, it was uh, in the low teens last night. Which is cold for our part of the country. Me and Jack are headed to the west. There's the bay right in front of us. Can't pull in there, it's too many damn trucks. You remember that house that I showed you the pictures of every once in a while? That house right there with the caved in underneath where the big storm had washed all the stuff out of it? I guess they finally got the insurance straight on it and they're starting to put it back together. We have to go to our other location. Ooh, ooh, big old jack. Oh, it's not too bad now. The wind has dropped off pretty good this morning. But it was cooking last night, brother. Woo! And this morning early. This is Chesapeake Bay Bridge Tunnel right there. I know you've seen that plenty of times. It's a bar right there. That's why it's so rough. A couple coal ships. Only three. All right, we got to go meet this fella. Stand by. Well, we just got the knife. It's a nice knife. Handmade Japanese. Left-handed knife. I've only done one of these in many years. You can see it's higher on this side. It's on this side. It's like 80-20. I have done some 70-30 knives, but I've done them for right-handed people. This is 80-20, according to the website. You can see it's almost flat on this side. Probably going to be, I'm probably going to put, as my buddy Leo told me, about 6 degrees on this side. And 20 or 30 on this side. He's used some kind of diamond stone on it. He told me he messed it up. You can see it's got some bad scratches all along it. The blade is a uh, kind of unique. Got some scratches in the blade itself, little minor ones. I might be able to get most of those out. Now, if I had my new diamond, what is it that Ken sells? Diamond bars, I'd be okay, but it's 70 bucks a crack. I can't afford any right now. You can see the scratches in it from the sunlight. I'm talking about on the upper blade now, not the blade itself. This is a nice knife. Okay, we got to go home. I got everything set up. Stand by. What do you want? <laughs> you crazy. I hope you can see the scratches. Yeah, I know you can see them. I mean, I can see them. The other side's not too bad. Got some bad ones right there from the diamond stone or something that he said he used on it. Not much angle here or angle here. Left handed knife. It's a fine knife. All right, let's get to work. We're going to buff it first. First, a buffer with black compound.
you can see the initial buffing has got a lot of the major scratches out of it. There's still a few on this side, but not nearly as bad as it was. This side was the worst side, I thought, but it is actually cleaned up better than the other side. You know, I buffed them equally, you know. All right, stand by. Due to the high quality and the strange grind on this knife, I'm going to do it with water stones, Japanese water stones. I have to soak them in water for a while, as most of you guys already know. Stand by. I'll be back to you in a little while. Stand by, I'll get back to you. Now we move to a medium grit stone. We've been on it uh, 10 minutes, I guess. We're just about, just about through with the medium grit. We finish up the coarser grit, then the medium grit now. This is about a thousand grit. We're probably going to go to six and eight. I know we're going as high as eight. I don't know if we go to 10,000 grit or not. We'll have to see. But it's coming along really nice. Mmm. I like it. I get this nice mud. When I get to the uh, 8,000 grit, after a little while, I'm going to add some of Ken's uh, Magic Elixir. That should really help it a lot. I've never used it but once, and that was when I first got it to try that. A couple weeks ago, about a week or so ago. I don't do many whetstone knives anymore. I use my Cali or my, uh, you know, what's that thing, the uh, Wicked Edge. Stand by, I'll be back to you on the next stone. We're just finishing with the 4,000 grit stone. We're going to the 6,000 grit stone now. She's getting in better shape every stone. We're finishing up on the 8,000 grit. I don't know if you can see it or not, but... It's really sharp now. A little more polishing. Should be ready for the box. Stand by. A little while longer. I presume everybody flattens their stones after use or before. I prefer to do mine after I get through. I've already done the 700, the 1000, the 4000. 6,000. Now I'm working on the 8,000. I use a diamond, coarse diamond. The DMT, I think, makes it. I use a pencil to cross it, cross the lines across it, and then I take all the lines away. And I do the corners. And 
I'm sure everybody does that, but there may be a few that don't. But it's a necessary thing to do. Keep your stones flat. You don't, you're going to get in trouble. You can use a brick, I mean a big old cinder block, or one of them grill pads works good if you put that on the cinder block. Wash them off good and dry them out. The water's kind of dirty, ain't it? Good thing the lady of the house is not home. I'd be in the doghouse. And if I don't clean up immaculately, I'll be in the doghouse anyway. Stand by for what's next to come. Well, here it is. Right off of the stones. Hadn't been stropped, hadn't been polished, anything yet. The Japanese, they don't like to cut new, I mean, printer paper. They say you need magazine paper because it's thinner. Well, you can see it's pretty sharp already. And it hadn't done anything, no refinement whatsoever. It's like 6 degrees on the right side and 24, 25 is best I could guess on the left side. A left-handed knife. I don't know how this is coming out because I'm some distance away from it. But anyway, I'll give you a close-up. They also like to fold the paper in half like this. Fold it and then cut the halves. See, so if you can do that, that's really sharp. Well, she's sharp, but like I said, she hasn't been polished or anything yet. So we still got a half hour, 45 more minutes or an hour to go. And we'll give you another result. Stand by. There she is. What do you want? I know what you want. You turkey, I know you what you want. I know, I know you like a book. Yeah. I ain't coming out there right now. I'm busy. No. Magazine paper. I got it's so bright I can't see it. Japanese like to bend it. She's ready to go home. See ya. Well, it's awful pretty. We may go spinning, but it's awful cold. <laughs> no. <laughs> what?